everyone, Great Power 60 here. Welcome to another Tea With Me Tuesday. <laughs> and it's hot. I just made it. Come on, my hair I got caught in the rain today. Mom and I went out. We did some shopping and uh, had a little bit of fun. Let's bring this into the other room and see. Let's see. Let's go into the other part of the living room and see if we can have a little more fun with this. I have no idea how it's going to work. <clears throat> Let's bring this down. How's that? Make it better. I'm gonna I'm gonna have more tea. I'm gonna put my feet up and we're gonna just chat. So I was, you know, thinking of different things to chat about, and as I said, I sort of noticed a couple of things about mom. I gotta go in her room. Before I go to bed at night, I have to go in her room. Um I gotta water my plants. Squirrel. <laughs> the other night, when was it? Saturday, Saturday night, mom has false teeth and she, every night she puts them in a container of water. Um, actually, I was just thinking about it. I think I'll buy some, um, um, what do you call those things you put in for false teeth to keep polydent? Um, throw one in there to clean her teeth while they're in there. But anyway, so, um, Woke up in the morning, couldn't find her hearing aid, looked all over for it. I just she didn't have her teeth in yet. And uh, she put her hearing aid in the water with her false teeth. Oh my God, I panicked. She's done this once before. So anyway, I took out my hair dryer and tried to dry it and and whatever and it wasn't working and we have the spare one but the spare one stopped working for some reason I don't know I'm going to bring them both in anyway and get them to check it um her new um mold for her ear is in they called I just have to call to make an appointment so she can have that fitted but um anyway oh my gosh I finally got it working it took me hours just to make sure it was working and new battery. And mom is not good when she can't hear, when she doesn't have her hearing aid. When she can't hear, she's in panic mode, you know, and it's really hard to comfort her sometimes. But anyway, so that was a couple of crises and um mom's mom's clothes are too big for her and I've been trying and trying to get her to buy some new clothes and she doesn't want to but I think with the winter coming we're definitely going to get her a couple of pair of heavier pants she does have one pair that I know fits and it's um elastic waist so um they're a little big but I think they'll be okay sorry about that Anyway, so tonight um, I did some crafting. I was going to go show you um, the, um, I was watching um, Posh Paper Lady, how she um, cut these uh, writing tablets in half and made um, some booklets or some notepads out of them. And then she made the box to match. And I just watched and then tonight I did one and it turned out really, really nice. And I was going to show you, but I'll, I'll do it in another video. So I was really proud of it. I was proud of what, the way it looked, how it turned out and the paper that I used and all of that stuff. And there's just a few tweakings that I think I'd like to do with it. Uh, but that's just me, you know? Um, and uh, sometimes before I go to bed at night and I don't feel like crafting anymore and I put my stuff away, I kind of, you know, I start playing games on the computer and, you know, 
I get tired of watching um, YouTube channels. Um, to be honest with you, um, there's not much on there that I'm enjoying. There are a few, I would say there's maybe five or six um, YouTubers that I watch faithfully every day, every single day, every single time they put up a video. There's five or six that I watch faithfully. Um, but once I've watched them, you know, and I'm not noticing anything new um, in paper crafting except for Posh Paper Lady um, and Mixed Up Media, I believe. For, uh, anyway, so I kind of got bored with that. And um, so tonight... I thought to myself, I'm going to turn on the TED Talks. I'm going to go and search through TED Talks because I find sometimes I feel like I'm lacking education. Not lacking in education, but I love to learn things. I love to know new things. And um, sometimes these talks are just hilarious. Like they're just, I don't know. There's something about them that I really enjoy. Mm. One of the things is some of them are self-motivators, um, talk about different things. So tonight, well, let me see. I watched, what, six or seven of them? Uh, one of them was on um, emotional health, um, you know, psychological health as opposed to our physical health, you know. And he was describing how when we were young, you know, we're taught to brush our teeth. We're taught to look after our bodies. And, you know, if we hurt ourselves, put a Band-Aid on it so we don't get an infection. And it goes on and on and talks about how we don't, we don't, um, we don't do things for our emotional health. And I made a list of it, but I'm not going to go over it. <coughs> um, and I found that fascinating. And I, I like, I like, you know, I like learning new things. Or sometimes there's things I already know. There's many of us. We already know things, but we just need a little extra push or reassurance or verification or validation you know on things that we know or things that we should know or should remember and we don't and I was watching these I watched like I said I watched about seven of them and they are there's so much out there for us to help us with different aspects of our life and one of the questions um, one of them was what is your passion and I had to sit down and think about what is my passion. And then I sat down and I thought about my whole life. In my whole life, what was the one singular passion that I had? And that's a really, really hard question to answer for anybody. Some people, easy peasy, you know. Um, they've been doing something they love all their life and, you know, that's it. And I was trying to think, you know, when somebody says to you, what do you want out of your life? What do you want? I don't know about you guys, but I sit there and go, I don't know. I don't know. I want a lot of things. But to name one, like one thing, what do you want? Oh my God, I couldn't think of a darn thing. And I was, you know, and, and I, and I get like that. But when somebody, when they, in this one talk, he said, you know, what is your passion? And the one thing that is, has always been a passion of mine is learning, is learning and teaching. And I think they kind of go together. What I learn, I love to teach. What I, what I observe and find out, I like to share. You know, and 
by doing that, I'm always hoping that I'm helping someone else. I'm always hoping that what experience, uh, what experiences I have, I'd like to share it, you know. And one of the things, there was another um, talk that talked about, you know, self-esteem and things like that. And isn't it funny when you go somewhere, maybe more for men than women, um, you know, you're at a party, there's a bunch of people there, and you go to talk to someone and someone will say, well, what do you do? You know, what do you do? Um, and of course, I'm a grandmother, I'm retired, I'm a, I have a YouTube channel, you know, there's all these things, but what do I do? And he gave such a great answer that I thought, oh, I should get it. I really should get the list because I really, I loved the whole pro, there's, there's five things, five things, um, that I forget what the purpose of it, but the first thing is, who are you? Uh, what do you do? Um, what do you do for others? How do you feel? And the last thing, I, I'm sorry, I'm getting it all mixed up because I watched so many of them. But the last question was, how did, how did it make them feel? Or how, how did they react to what you, your knowledge, to what you've said, to what you've done for what you do? And he said, when somebody comes up to you and asks you, what do you do? You can say something like, I make, you know, for me with my grandsons, I make kids have fun. I help kids have fun. I help kids laugh. I help um, my, I help elderly uh, feel comfortable. Um, you know, all of these things. In other words, say the result of what you do. So if you're a nurse, um, you know, instead of going into this whole spiel, because sometimes people will say, well, what do you do? You know, at a big, big, big party or something. I mean, not that I go to them anymore, but when we used to have uh, business parties and stuff, really, they just want to know what they want to tell you what they do. So the first thing they'll say is like, what do you do? Well, if you say something like, well, you know, I help cure, um, you know, AIDS or I help, um, uh, I rescue, I rescue dogs or, or I train, um, dogs or I, um, make kids wish they were an astronaut or, you know, all of these things. If you, if you think of the end result of what you do, so you do something, who you are, I am me, I am, I am a grandmother. Um, what, what do you do? I play with my grandsons, you know, how do you do that? And, you know, I don't know, anyway, I'm getting it all mixed up, but it just, it just seemed like such, um, I guess, an introspective for me. I was sort of thinking back you know, and I was thinking, well, I'm just a old grandma, I'm, you know, doing some YouTube, I'm doing some crafting, uh, I'm looking after my mom, and, you know, you sort of downplay what we do and what our passions are, but um, if, if we sit down and really think about our passion and how how it affects others, and what did they get out of it? What do they get out of it? Whatever your passion is, or whatever you do, what does the what do others get out of it? You know, you're a brain surgeon. Well, you know, I cure whatever. Um, and for me, um, my passion is really learning and sharing and teaching and and. Um, just, just, you know, being part of the world and sharing it and having fun with it and, and trying to laugh when it's hard to laugh, um, smile and enjoy ourselves when it's hard to do that, 
when, you know, so I always try and pull little snippets of how I feel and, and, and it make it explode because otherwise, you know, um, we go through these emotions when, especially when we're caregivers, we go through these lows and these highs and these fears and so on. But if I could sit down and, and think about it, you know, what do I do for mom? You know, and sometimes I would draw a blank and I would go, well, you know, I give her a home where she's loved, where she's comfortable, she's well fed, um, where she can enjoy her life, where we can go out and we laugh and we do things together, you know, and um, that's what I do, you know. Um, my YouTube channel, I come on, I chat with you guys, um, I create things, I learn how to do things, and then when I recreate it, I'm proud of myself, and I show my mom, I get mom to help me, you know. So, uh, feeling sorry for myself, feeling depressed, feeling all of these things because of the burden of, you know, um, and worry of looking after an elderly parent, I should, you know, eliminate that. I need to eliminate that. I need to realize that, you know, we're missing out on life when we don't um, remind ourselves of our passion, remind ourselves of our happiness and remind ourselves of all these things. And I have to be reminded because every once in a while I will get into a, oh, I can't do this and I can't do that or I don't want to do that. I don't feel like doing that. You force yourself, you force. So um, every once in a while I'll, I'll get on the computer and I'll watch these talks. And sometimes they help me a lot because I'm learning and then I get to share it or um, in some way the knowledge that I've learned uh, will help me help someone else. You know, um, even, even playing with my grandsons, it helps me to kind of uh, remember that I am a child inside and that it's great to laugh, it's great to have fun, it's great to play games, and it's great to watch them smile. And that's so important to me, so important. So I just think that these TED Talks are just, you know, my um, juice that I need to rejuvenate that curiosity in me, the child in me that likes to be curious, that likes to learn, that likes to know things, that wants to... Um, it's not that I want to know everything, it's just I'm curious about life. I'm curious about how people learn things, how people do things. Um, the curiosity has always been there. Um, I've never had a passion to be an expert in any field. I've never had that passion. But I've always been curious um, about learning, about teaching, about showing. Oh my gosh, I just saw this. I just did this. I just learned this, you know. Um, and it's fun to share. I think it 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 brings smile to faces, whether it be a silly thing or whether it be a fun thing. But um, I just, you know, I really had to sit down and think about what is my passion? What is the one thing that is common throughout my life that I felt passionate about? And that was learning. It sounds kind of lame, but it's not. Cold tea now. Anyway, guys, I have babbled on long enough about absolutely nothing. It's just sometimes we need our spirits lifted. Sometimes we need whatever it is that we need in our own personal life. Some of us need one thing. Some of us need something else. Um, and my need is just to listen to someone explain something that is interesting. 
and I find it fascinating. I may not always know the details, but I find it fascinating. Anyway, I am babbling on long enough. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope it wasn't such a crazy talk today. I um, started off sitting over there and then decided to come and sitting, sit in my living room and uh, chat with you here. And um, I hope you'll join me again next week. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, thanks for joining our YouTube family. I really uh, have some wonderful friends on um, on the internet highway that I hope to travel someday and visit would be wonderful, would be wonderful. Thanks for joining me today and we'll see you again next week. Bye for now. Let's start all over again. Oops, I need more rope. Okay, one minute in and I still... Okay, let's see. That part is dark. This part is light. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to be yawning. So, um...